How you doing everybody? Vape Vapers back and guess what I have? I have Bandy Vapes Mesh V2 RDA. Just brought it into the house. Rip Trippers did a video on it two days ago. I'll put the link down in the in the in the video here I'm doing. Uh, he's touting it as the best RDA he's ever experienced next to the profile the profile being the way I took it from is being exactly the same but a little bit better because it has some modifications that make it better I told this channel uh, people that watch this channel uh, I'm not a big vape reviewer I don't get paid for anything uh, YouTube doesn't monetize uh, vape, vape channels anyway so I'm not here for the money I'm here for the technology for you people to buy okay so uh, without saying anything else here we'll go on here's what I got today I got it from this one I've got it from V Pro this is the only people I could find it right now from unless you want to order it from China okay and wait three to four weeks or pay it uh, 20 or 30 dollars to have it shipped to you which is to me ridiculous don't do that okay and they got some bogus sites too from one of my friends that was uh, ordering a uh, ordering from it and V Pro puts on their on their shipping bag uh, a nice little scanner there so you can look for special offers after you did it I've done that and uh, 15 or 20 percent off on some of the things that you when you scan this you'll you'll be able to go there and see that so I've cut it open but I haven't opened anything in it so let's see what I got what I got was uh, the, the mod the uh, RDA itself we'll go over that in a minute also, uh, Vandy Bape sells uh, specific cottons for these, so I bought a pack of them. They were like two bucks, two fifty or something, for myvpro.com. So I'm gonna try those. Uh, let me look at these. Uh, well, they put the the wide laces on them. We'll go over that in a minute. Versus the extreme cotton from uh, uh, Watofo. And uh, and and everybody is going to uh, start typing down the bottom. I use cotton bigot. Well, that's fine. It, it, to each his own. Okay, I per, per I, I I myself prefer uh, damn dooms uh, cottons to anybody's in all these devices. And I can show you that in a little bit too uh, when we get to the cotton part here. Okay, they gave me the uh, bill of sale. It's got my name on it, so I won't show it to you. There it is. Alright, and uh, uh, so uh, Vandy Vape has, okay, that's the end of the content, so i got three more things to show you. Uh, Vandy Vape has four different mesh strips for these. Okay, so they sell all four of them on VBPro.com. I'm sure that 8Vape.com will have it in a minute. I don't get paid for any of these guys. So I just uh, I shot with them. Basically, I shot with VPro because they had the items. Eight bait didn't have them yet. They're always a, a couple weeks behind on getting the uh, the newest technology. But anyway, I bought two sets of uh, strips. They have four different kinds. So if I were to hold them up here, I would have four of these with ten strips in each one uh, from uh, Vandy Vape. Okay, it's what I chose to buy. We'll start with the strips first. Uh, I, the, the first one I bought is a, a 10 piece dual MRDA coil or strip, as I call them. Uh, on the back it says made in China with a barcode. On the side it says A1 uh, 0.15 ohms. This is the dual one that's connected together that has a gap in the middle of it. And on these mesh coils, they are proprietary to this device because they're wider than a profile or a Kylan M or a profile Unity or a Damn Doom. Uh, these are wider people. I'm sure that these will go in a. I'm, uh, I looked at the, the size of them. They will go in the new 1.5 profile, which I'll be showing you guys in my next video when I get it this is the dual and also I got their uh, their version of the 10-piece uh, uh, MRDA coil 
This one is a, uh, this one's like a next mess. It's an A1, a 0.15 ohm, 50 to 65 watts. And I forgot to tell you what the dual is. The dual goes from 45 to 70 watts. Okay, now I've had problems with next mesh going to 70 watts on some of my mods and my squawk bottles. I never had a problem with my squawkers, my mech mods, mech mods that have no way to adjust the voltage. I never had a problem with next mesh, but I've had a problem going to 70 watts to 71 or 2 watts, and then it it says it, it's an overheat or it's too much or something. It just doesn't let you do it. <coughs> but that's neither here nor there. So. I bought two packs of those. <coughs> Plenty of next mess, but they don't fit in this. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. It's the real video, so I ain't gonna cut it out. Um, let me have a sip of water. Also in the packaging, they give you a neat little V Pro sticker. They can put on your car. I guess this is the turkey theme one. Uh, myvpro.com it's got a little scanner on there too so all right so it was all packaged good came in came in uh, one longer day than I thought it took three days to deliver it that was at the basic mail because I don't pay for anything more than that basic mail but it got held up for one day because of the snow up in the northeast it came from Michigan all right um, let's go over the cotton first from Bandy Vape. all right here it is let me get the extreme over here and uh, let me get some doom. Oh, okay. So here it is. Here's the doom foxtail and the Watofo's extreme. I, I no longer use Watofo's 60mm because these are far better. Uh, better. The Watofo Extremes are far better. Uh, they're thinner and they have a thinner shoelace on the end of them to go through the uh, little archway for the mesh. Now the Dooms, the Doom, uh, they're called Foxtails, okay? Damn Doom, Damn, Damn Bait, Cotton for a Mesh Coil. These do not have any laces at all, but they just seem to be the perfect size. They're not as thick as the Extreme or the old 6mm Watofos and and they just work really well, man. And you get to shred them out a little bit. And then you stick them down the hole. You're done with it. But you always have to twist the end on these. Which makes it a more of a pain in the ass. Right? So anyway, this is a cotton. Let's, let's open up and take one of these out. Because this is new from them. Uh, great. My little rippy thing didn't rip all the way across. Maybe I can get it to go from the other side. There we go. Okay, on the back of this it says uh, material organic cotton, single cut length, 66 millimeters, 100% tasteless cotton wick, no chemicals, pesticides, or bleach. To learn more about our products, visit their site, blah, 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 Sheshuan, China, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you guys all know that. So this is what I'm going to figure, and is this is going to be the same damn cotton that's put in them 6 millimeter. Well, no, they're not. They are, they are shorter, so you don't waste cotton, and they're not as Oh, uh, yeah, they're as thick as the uh, six millimeters. Okay, so let me let me compare that so you guys get the right one. Okay, so this is uh, Bandy Vape's new one. And we'll look at Watofo Cotton Extreme. Oh, yes, they're way longer. All right, this is Watofo's here in my right hand. And this is... Vandy baits in my left hand, and they're both as thick as each other. And the extreme has a smaller eyelet. Let me put that up for you. So I kind of like this one. I'm gonna. I'm thinking right now, right off the bat, I'm gonna like this better. 
for all my devices. Okay, so let me leave one of those out because I'm a wick mine today. I'm gonna check it out. See if Rip Trippers is lying to me about it. So, so I would recommend these with Tofu X Fiber Cotton Extremes. You can get cotton bacon, do them like that. You can get cotton with the laces on them. Uh, whatever way you guys do, you whatever you prefer. I just prefer that way, and and that's the way I'm gonna do it. So, I just prefer using Watofo's cotton on the one that they came out with, which after the other ones. If you ever notice, they try to sell you something, then they come out with something newer and better all the time, right? So, anyway, that's that. All right, we'll take a vape. Hey, people, I, you know what I did? I had so many. I have profiles, profile unities, the Kyle and M's, everything in front of me, right, to vape on. But the other day, I got I got, uh, I got uh, to thinking, I got to thinking, you know what? I have a V2 from Smock with a triple mesh coils in it. And I think I'll load one up, put it on a mod, and, and uh, start tasting it, right? So I put one back on with the A3 coils in it. Put some bad drip in it. Bad drip, gnarly farley from New York. Excellent e-juice, by the way, people. And the, the flavor's really good. As good as the profile? No. But, hey, more convenient, easier to use. Well, I actually I did it because I have too many flavors I wanted to taste. And uh, this is one of them. Farley Gnarly Strawberry uh, Pomegranate. Everybody knows the V2 is very noisy. And I've got the air cut down on that thing to that small of a hole. Okay, it's a very noisy mob, but it works perfectly on the alien. Uh, the, I mean, the species, the alien and the species. But the species, to me, one of the best mods you can buy out there. So light, fits in your hands so perfectly. It's just a great mod from Smock, and it's still on the market today at the same price, and people still buy it. Okay, so uh, that being said, I have everything in here, you know, that I use the profile for all these things so the tech has changed people so the technology is changing okay and now we have this okay Vandy Vapes M V 2 R D A now they have an M V R D A that's a mesh but doesn't have all the features in this one like they did with the Colin M by by taking Mr. Just Right's platform and uh, uh, creating a better a better uh, a better technically better technology better device RDA this is Kyle and M versus the Profile Unity the Kyle and M took Mr. Wright's platform why they didn't patent it I'll never know but and they stuck it in a Kyle and M bandy rate. So they've now done it with this one here, the V2. Okay, so and the Colin M is very good. Oh, the flavor, people. But what we're saying about this is, and Rip Timber's already said it, and I'm going to say it today, but I don't know yet, is that this one even has better flavor than the Profile. Or is exactly even, if not better. But I'm going to say it's better. After I taste it, I'll, I'll let you know for sure. Because I'll get comments about that. Uh, that uh, with the wider strips that are going to go in this, people, it's going to have more surface area on the cotton. It's going to give you better flavor. And the air hole, where they put the air holes on this one. All right, so we're going to open it up. With its cellophane plastic wrap that they put around everything. Okay. I have a trash can right back there. Okay. So let's go over the box. On the front, it says Brandy Vape MB2 RDA. Uh, on the side, it has your uh, barcode made in China and your scratch, scratch and sniff thing. Okay. On the back, it's. Uh, MB2 RDA and uh, on this side it says full steam ahead Vandy Vape 
And then what's neat about this one, it shows you all four of the coils. So if you keep your box, you'll always know what to order with this. All four of the coils that they go is proprietary with this device. Okay. So now you guys can see that. You'll know. I have never used this one, the stainless steel for wattage mode. I mean for a volt mode. But I plan on trying it someday. But I just haven't. So I ordered people this one and this one. Okay, this is like the old Watofo that first came out. So uh, now Rip Trippers is recommending that you use the dual. And he used all four over a month period of time. Of course, he gets them sent to him a month early out of production from these companies because they're probably cutting him a check of $5,000 to put the video up, right? I hate to say that about Rip Trippers, but hey, he's one of the best in the business. He is the best in the business, put it that way. Anyway, I should be hitting off my I should be hitting off my profile instead of this to see if the match so I can get, get used to this. So there's my profile on top of my uh, dot pop SE dual topside squonker. Okay. Still the most quiet, smooth vape and tasty I've ever had out of anything. It's still the profile. Okay, but we're moving forward into that. Here's something unique with this box. Look at this. They put little finger holes on the side so you can pull the box top off. Thank God somebody was smart enough now instead of you shaking it, pulling it, getting a, a knife or a pen and trying to move the box out. So you can get your fingers in there now and just slide it out. That was great. That's a great innovation. It does nothing for your vaping, bro. Okay, so we opened it up. We opened it up. But before I do that, let me read on the back what it comes with. Uh, atomization enlargement with what it says uh, main features. Atomization to strips area enlargement with wider M wire for superior flavor, meaning the bottom of the round base is going to be larger. The well is going to be deeper and the wires are going to be wider. Okay, four types of M wire, four types, people. Top airflow intake for anti leaky improved liquid flow with deeper indentation, the deeper well. Uh, the product includes an MV2 RDA, one spare parts bag, one instruction manual, two cotton laces, one A1M coil 1.15, one nickel. Nikon, nickel, Nikon 80M coil 0.15, one dual M coil 1.15, and then the stainless steel, is, it's a lower ohms, the SS316LM coil for voltage mode at 0 0.12, and then it's got all the warnings on it from Shashan, China, right? So I opened it up, and that's what you see first. The mod itself, this one happens to be, let me look, I forget what it said on here. Mm -mm. Color is frosted gray. And I just like the color. I've never had a frosted gray. I've had a black and ohm, a rainbow, a blue, a green. So this one time I went with frosted gray. I kind of liked the, the, the drip tip on it. It's more of a black with gray swipes through it you know how they look and down in here is the mesh strips so let's take the mesh strips out all four of them and they're all pictured on the, the little I used to call these sim card holders or SD card holders which I really like how they're doing that too because to keep these things together you really don't want them in a bag or anything and I'm looking at that stainless steel that's in here, so I'll be able to try it out. I don't know about the stainless steel, but anyway, there they are, all four of them inside it. And they show you what they are on the outside. So you get that. Let's get the uh, RDA out itself. Okay, here's the RDA. Wow. Holy crap. This bad boy is one heavy, heavy 
RDA, I mean, it's like three times heavier than the than the profile. That's a that's something I don't know why. Maybe it's uh, machined better. I mean, I'm taking a, I'm taking a look at it, people. Now you've got two sets of air holes going across the top. It's not like the profile that's got the the honeycomb where you slide it back and forth around in it. It's got two big long uh, double air air holes. Gosh, this thing is like this cap type of cap is really constructed well. Let's look down underneath here. What is okay? They put a piece of plastic on here. I don't know if you people have ever ever knew this, but you have to watch. You don't want to put that. I want to take that off of there. Okay. That's to cover the uh, chrome part here. It says MV2, the CE, and the NO, whatever. Designated and manufactured by Vandy Vape. It's got a serial number on it. Okay. And here's what Rip Trippers came out with. Now I see it. It comes pre installed with not the squawk mode uh, insert in it. Okay, so you're going to have to take that out, put the squat thing in it out of your tools. Otherwise, you drip this, right? Oop, I dropped it. You drip it, right? In that mode, you would take your you would take your e-juice and drip it in there five, six, seven, eight drops. Squawk it three or four times, drip it again, drip, 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 drip. That's what's called dripping, right? So uh, let's put that down for a second, and then we'll... We'll see what else is in here. Otherwise, otherwise, it's got the, the black spongy thing trapping all the rest of the contents of the box, which is a pain in the butt to get out all the time. But it keeps everything from falling apart while they ship it. Oh, I'm working on it, people. I'm not a pro like, uh, oh. Well, after you take the... Uh, even this they thought about in the packaging. After you take the strips out of there, you can put your finger right in there and pull this thing out easy. And I didn't realize that. I thought it was one of the old kind. So the packaging is a, that's a great, that's, that's, a, that's a good thing that they thought about the packaging for people. Okay, we got the bag of tools and extra spare parts in there. Okay, it's got the bending tool for your mesh. And the most important thing I'm going to look for here is the squonk pen. Yes, they have it. And you have extra springs, extra screws for the deck, some O-rings, a carter, uh, carter pen, and, and uh, an Allen, Allen screwdriver. Right? Uh, qualified certificate. It's got the model number on it that passed uh, Bandy Vapes. Quality assurance. Okay. Of course, the old famous, famous instruction booklet. Let's see how many languages this one's in. Oh, octong. Oh, 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 there's some English. And then, uh, and I'm, I'm not trying to be politically correct. People Russian. This Russian and French and American. I don't know what's on this side. I'll check and see. Yeah, Russian and uh, three different languages. And that's how big the instruction manual is for this, people. <laughs> so. No big deal. It's just they have to put them in there. You should go through that and read that. And last but not least, in the bottom, in a tinfoil container. Oh, there's more. There's two more cotton laces from Vandy Vape. They call them Vape Cotton Laces Two Pieces. And a card. It's got a picture of all the colors of the RDAs that you can buy. The V2 Mesh RDA from Bandy Bait. MB2 RDA. 
All right. So we're going to stick all this back in there because we're not going to need all this mess. Well, we will have to have their bending tool for it. I don't want to sit here and waste the video on this, but we're going to take another babe. So, let's see what this done. So, first of all, if I tell you about this drip tip. First of all, I'm going to put it on my lips and tell you about it. It's rather wide. Let me check this out with the Profile Unity. The Profile Unity, I believe, is the best drip tip ever designed. Okay? Because I just like how thick it is and how it's restricted like that. Now, look. There's a difference. This one's really wide, wide bore. And it's wider. Uh, okay. Well, I probably won't know until I get everything on there to see how this performs. Uh... Let's see if I can get this off of there. That's the problem. Okay, there it is. There's the bell. That's the conical style. It's got the rounded uh, dome type situation. Uh, uh, drip, rip trippers. I'm not going to take the drip tip out because there's such a pain in the ass to do unless you're really going to replace it. Well, this one came out pretty easy. All 510 drip trips do fit on this, people. Okay, but there's, there's what comes with the, the frosted gray. It's a black with gray pieces in it. Like, it looks ceramic type. Drip tip. Oh, that one went in and out pretty easy. And it's got the O-ring around the top, and it's got these long airflows. And look at the airflows, the way they designed them. They slanted it downwards. So your airflow is going to go straight down on top of the... Uh, of the uh, Oh, my, my. Okay, so I'm looking down in the middle of this, people, and I'm noticing something right off the bat. Do you notice it? The difference in the profile in this? Uh, that ceramic square is a lot more rectangular and longer, but not wider. It's lacking something on the, between the posts post things on both sides it's not as wide as the profile that to me might might, might change my opinion about the 1.5 coming out okay so I'm going to tell you what I don't know if I'm liking that or not so you Reach down in there and just pop it out. There's the the the, can, the uh, cannon part, the the top and bottom. Okay, so you pop it right out of there. Okay, your screws are accessible through holes. That's what's making this uh, well deeper. I'm assuming. Oh, this well is like, oh my goodness. I don't have the machines to measure it, people, but uh. Compared to the profile, I am knowledgeable about measurements. Uh, compared to the profile, this thing is at least two millimeters higher, if not a little more. It's got a massively deep well. You can put the cotton way down on this. This, this thing will be so much easier to, to, to wick. Let me get it in there so you can get it clear. Look how deep that is. Do you see how deep that is if I turn it to an angle? Look how deep the wells are. Holy crap. So let's turn it on the side. You see what I'm saying? Jeez. You see how that's a rectangle? And not as wide at the post as that? Unbelievable. Wow. Double O-ring around the side. Now, okay, there's one thing that Rip Trippers didn't say about this. And I'm going to tell you right now. Let me get out the little screwdriver that comes with it. 
because I like to build these things with the tools they give you to make sure they all work. Although I have what I have a set of Watopos that have all the state of the art type uh, tools in it to, to to rebuild with. So, but we're going to use their screwdriver this time. Here's something Rip Tippers missed on his video, and I'm really good at this, and I caught it in a minute on there. All right, let's see this. See if I can do this for you. I don't see any change in the in the in the spring, people. It's a very light spring. Maybe I'm thinking it's a lighter spring. It's the light spring still in it. Now, the 1.5 profile that's coming out, or is out, you can order from China, uh, is supposedly touts that it put an upgrade into a very much stronger spring. And when I watched Mr. Wright, just Mr. Just Wright one's video, he showed how tighter it was with the screwdriver, like I just showed you here. Doesn't mean I'm going to put this profile down, though. So, it also has a spring-loaded... The spring loaded uh, um, side, uh, and I really like that because people, you can just you can just put these coils in there, no problem. And uh, what I heard was they didn't put spring loaded in the 1.5 profile coming out. Okay. So I loosened them up a little bit, as you can see. So you can slip slip the mesh strip down in there. Okay. And they're spring loaded, so they stay that way. They don't flop around like the profile does. You know, even with all the comments, they're saying, oh, it doesn't flop around. There's no springs loaded in the profile. Uh, they needed a bigger spring in it. It's still the best RDA ever made. The best flavor ever off of any device I've ever used or any of these uh, paid for uh, vape reviewers. It's just a fact. But they can't tell you that this is the only one you should buy because what else would they be able to review about, right? Okay, so we did that. What we're going to do is I'm playing around with it a little bit, people, okay? Bear with me because I'm not a downside person where I put the camera down for you. Even though I have an HD that you could probably see it very well. I'm just doing it because most of you people know how to do this already. They're watching my videos. If not, look back. I've done many, many wicking and building videos for you people. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to find the tool. And you know what? I found that these tools that come with these are the same exact tool for all the new, the old uh, the Colin and the profile unit and the profiles and the damn doom and all that. But on this tool, you better keep this one. Keep this bending tool to wrap your coil around because these are wider. So this is bigger. You're not going to be able to use your profile bending tool. Do you understand that? All right. So we got our bending tool out. We got our screwdriver. I'm going to go ahead and, go and use theirs today. Out of their, their dual. I'm going to get the dual out. I like how they do these, boy. I tell you that. <coughs> All right, I got the dual strip out. Let's see if we can see it. Now, it's not a separate dual strip because it's connect, connected on the ends. But <coughs> it's 1.5 ohms. 1.5 ohms. There it is. I'm going to be using that one today. All right, we take it like this and we put it around. People, you've been through this before now that all these profiles are out there. All right. 
you take it around there and you, you put it around. It's hard to see because they're both stainless steel almost. Well, one isn't stainless steel really, but the, the uh, rod is looks like it is. So you bend it around there. Make sure you do a nice firm little bend. Slide it back like that. What do you end up with? You end up with an arch. It's a little arch, right? So don't bend it from this point forward, people. Just keep it nice and light in your hand. Let me see if we can catch that that split in the middle up here on the, on the cam. Is it going to focus for me or not? It's so sheer that I don't know if I'm going to catch it for you. But anyway, we can look at the box and you can see what the dual, dual looks like right there. That dual. You see it with the split in the middle? See it? Okay, that's the one we're using. Alright. Basically because Rip Tripper said it, but the thing is, uh, I've seen these duels out for a while because they they, they had duels for the M. The M, uh, V RDA that doesn't have any of the Mr. Just Right features in it. And they had a duel for it. So you just take this thing and drop it down and you're preloaded. Or you're pre spring. You're springed uh, holes back in. Look at that. See, that, that's why I like the spring. You, you, you drop it in there. And it like springs back to hold it right where you're supposed to have it. See, nice little perfect tunnel across the ceramic block. Okay, perfect tunnel. Come on, I know that bugs the hell out of you guys. Not it not focusing correctly, but there you go. You can see it back like that. All right. So I'm going to tighten that up. In fact, I'm not even going to put my fingers on it. Okay, because it's just sitting in there perfectly. So I do it real light on one side and bring it up against it. And then I do it real light on the other side and bring it up against it. Then I turn it again and I go back and I make sure it's tight. Because if you don't have it tight, and you don't want to over tight these and strip them out, people. Okay, the hole, just don't force that cotton in there so hard. And there. Okay, so I give it a nice snug. All right. So, what I told you I was going to use the, uh, well, you know what? I'm going to have to turn around and get my, and get my tools. Because I have to have, so we have it installed. All right. We have it installed. It's the dual. They're much wider than next match, people. As a matter of fact, I should take one out and show you that. Uh, I'll take my word for it. These OFR next match strips, right, are skinnier than these. These are skinny. All right, so you're not going to be able to use these in that de this device here. I would assume you could stick it in there, but uh, it's not wise. Profile Unity people still using it. Still no leaks if you wick it correctly. I do it with three holes open myself. Great device. Lemon twist in this one. I'm going to have to get my toolkit. Hang on, people. Stand by. Because this is important. It's important. There's a, what's called a Watofo toolkit. Okay? That's a Watofo toolkit. You guys don't have one. They're very inexpensive. They're like $14.99, maybe $17 on some sites. You get it. You got uh, storage area. Storage area up top. Another storage area here on the, on the next one. It flops over. It's got tools on this side, tools on the other side, everything you need. <coughs> so I need the scissors out of this. Great pair of scissors, too, by the way. The fluffer and a picker, right? And sometimes I use these to pull the cotton through in an easier form and manner. So I'll have all three of these out. 
It also comes with wire snippers. Uh, it comes with coiling rods. It comes with uh, ceramic tweezers so that you can take the top off your profile unity and anywhere you want to use ceramic without busting something. And a vicious looking screwdriver with all sorts of attachments. So if you ever want to get one, get one of these. Because they work out really well. You don't have to go to Home Depot or, or snap on and say, I need to have me a vapor building kit. These are just fine. This is going to be a rather lengthy video because I'm building this, people. So we're going to take this off. We're going to we're going to thread the cotton through now. And the reason I'm going to use extreme is because it's a lot easier with this uh, with this uh, see if I don't get it in there. What I do is here's what I'm talking about when I'm going to use these pliers. To come with your tool kit. Alright, what I'm going to do is most people can get their little tiny fingers and I have chubby fingers. I use it to bring it through. Alright, you see what I'm saying? And I do it nice and easily until I've got half and half on both sides, right? Let me see if i got half and half. Got to bring it back. Okay, now I don't need these any longer. Right? So what I do is when I use my tools, they come with a little cap on the top to keep them together. I use and put all these things back. Just don't throw them back into your box. And you won't ever have to buy these things again, people. Okay? Keep them in good shape and you don't have to buy these things over and over again. Alright, so I'm going to pull it back a little bit, which I did. All right, so we've got it in there like this right now, right? So let's see how good these scissors are. Oh, popped it right off of there. See, because I like to see how much cotton I have on both sides because I want to make it make sure it's even. Of course, they give you so much here of the extreme that you don't have to worry about really doing that. So how do we cut this? All right, so how do we cut this? We go like this, people on an extreme angle up and in you understand up and in okay do you see that see how that's up and in see all right now all right so we take the Little tweezy titters. Okay, these come out to be very good for shredding this thing. So what I do is I pull on it, I get in the middle, I go underneath and shred it. Get on both sides. What I'm really interested in in this what I'm really interested in is whether or not on this one with the dual strip in it there was always a problem with that middle piece being dry the wick inside of it and this one has an opening going around it so when I go to put my e-juice on this thing right uh, I'm giving it a haircut now, people. So when I get... I'm just wondering whether or not that strip in the middle is going to allow more e-juice in there. Now, on the Profile 1.5 coming out, the plastic ceramic block down there has grooves through it. And it's wider. It's got four, I think it's four grooves through it. So your cotton is going to lay above that, but they'll be able to stream e-juice underneath that, which is going to be awesome, I think. That was awesome for Profile 1.5. I don't have it yet, but I'm going to get it. You can't get it in an American store either. You can't get it from China. So we got it wicked off. We're going to tuck it down in now. 
as it looks right now. Okay, it looks kind of funky, doesn't it? We're going to tuck, tuck it down in there now. And what I do is I shred downwards. On this one, I'm going to shred downwards because there's such a deep well down there that I want it to go all the way down there. Okay. Did I get it all the way down in there? Okay, that's one side done. Okay, now we're going to take, put all this down in there. Boy, this is hell of a lot easier to wick than the profile itself. Not saying anything about the profile unity, it's a pain in the ass to wick, wick it the correct way. So I've got to shred out some of this on the side to get it to go way down in there. I don't want it to, to uh, cover the bottom and start spreading out. I just want it to touch the bottom. Right? So a lot of people ask me in my last video, is they're going to fire this thing up? Yes, I'm going to fire it up. And I'm going to do it after I eat you. So I'm going to burn it off that away. Okay, so we are done. We are done wicking this thing in that amount of time, people. Look at my wick job. Okay. You see that there's no uh, overhang up top here because if it is, you'll burn the tips at the top of it. Okay. So you can form that a little bit after you, after you, uh, um, put your e-juice on it so what we're going to do is we're going to put this on a mod i need to put a battery in it we're going to put this one on a tony b mech mod squawker okay let me get a 21700 battery i don't know if you people have gone to those already or that these devices with the 21700 batteries that are big compared to a 18650 way more power Okay, I would go to all these if you can get a device that takes them. That's the one you should be using today. This is a Golsi 21700 S35. If you're interested in buying them, they're absolute premium, premium 21700 batteries. Just remember, if it's only an 81650 device, it's not going to fit it. All right, we put that in. Uh, Let's get the cover for it. Gotta love these covers, man. They just pop right on there. Oh, you know what? We Houston, we have a problem. We are going to have to take out the squawk pen. So what I'm going to do. Uh, as a matter of fact, we won't do that right now. What we're going to do is we'll squonk it. We'll, we'll, we'll drip it. That's what we'll do. We'll drip it. Okay. So we're going to put it on the device. I'm screwing on the top of my Mac mod. Okay. See? Now, let's see what I want to put on it. I'm going to do the bad butter. This is a banana from Bad Drip. Okay. And we're going to we're going to saturate the cotton first. I'm just going to put a little bit on there right now so I can burn off that if there's any metal on there or whatever 
metal residue or oil left over. The smell of that bananas, jeez. So what I teach people too is you can really you can form your cotton after you put it on there with the tip of your just to make it all uniform. So you don't get any tips over top of it. It start to burn later. But uh, yeah, you can form it like that. Make it a perfect round. So that you don't have any issues with it later. So anyway, everybody knows you have to wick these things. I mean, you have to put some really heavy EGs on it to start. So we're going to see. There it goes. Okay. So let's put it back together and see how she drips. Oh, wrong way. So this goes on and, and it snaps down, turning it nice and firm and turning it to the right. It'll lock in place. Okay, then you put this in. Okay, and we're going to start with half open. Okay, so the, the air, air intake's half open right now. Okay, and I'm going to drip it just a little bit more down for the top. Okay, we did. First hit off the uh, Vandy Vape. Vandy Vape. Mesh V2 RDA with a dual coil, people. I'm so excited. New technology. What's that look like on my red and black Tony B Pulse Mech Mod? Looks pretty good on here, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Hang on a minute. Because I've tasted this flavor in a profile. I've tasted this flavor in a Profile Unity. I've tasted this flavor in a Kylan M. I've tasted this flavor in a Damn Doom Doom RDA. So let's put just a drop or two more in there. Since it's new. The airflow on this, people. Let, let, let me let me open this thing up wide. I am so excited about this. Holy crap! Wide open. Okay, definitely don't like it wide open. A ton, a ton of airflow, people. I keep trying to unscrew it, which is stupid. All right, let me try it one third open. Okay, I like it. I like it halfway. That's the way I like it. Let me drip a little bit more in there, and then I'm going to give you my my conclusion on this. Okay, and dripping. By the way, people is the best way to do this for the flavor okay of these rdas these mesh rdas because but nobody has the time to do that at work or out running around you can't drip it while you're driving the car it's kind of awkward so you know you, you put the squawk pen in there and you can hit the bottle on the side and it puts the juice up in there for you so hang on a second all right one good hit The flavor in this. Well, let's start with the clouds. The cloud production is exactly the same. Absolutely immense coming from these profiles and these kind of devices, the profile unity column M. It's huge. It's more than you could take in your lungs if you did a if you drew on it for like 15 seconds. It just it would just overwhelm you. 
flavor wise best flavor I've ever tasted of any device ever period it's better than a profile we haven't seen the profile 1.5 yet is the profile any worse 5% still an outstanding device the profile this one it's better it's better that's going to be the title of my video too my goodness gracious I'm tasting bananas like you're stuffing them in your mouth fresh this is awesome 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 I just love new tech people love it love it they're just making things so much better now so much better than we did before and make sure it's all clean my fingertips and everything else you guys can see it up close on here it's got the M emblazoned on it this is the frosted gray and I never had a frosted gray so I thought I'd try one this time and I'm telling you I'm giving this hands up a 10 I'm gonna give it a 9 I'm gonna give it a 9 because I don't know what the 1.5 profile is gonna be like because it has some features on it that I think that might make the flavor just a bit better I'm all about flavor people I'm all about flavor and this is just awesome downright awesome so uh, thanks for watching uh, subscribe to my channel down there I don't get paid for these videos I do this so I want to show you guys the best tech out there this is what you're putting now what did I say I bought this for 32 bucks wait about five months and it'll be down to around 29 I doubt it though because the profile hasn't dropped in any price still 29 bucks most everywhere this one it's gonna stay at 32 for a long time so you might as well just order it if you want it okay subscribe to my channel give me a like people I do these videos for you to tell you the truth to tell you what the tech is I'm not here to sell anything or make any money and I've got tons of videos for you to watch and go out and buy yourself a Tofo toolkit comes in really handy I promote Watofo. They don't give me anything for doing that. I just like the way Watofo works. I will have, I will buy a Watofo Profile 1.5. And I'll have it in my, my collection. Okay. Because I can. And I will. And because it's going to be another state-of-the-art tech change. If they can improve on something that's the best in the industry, then it's better for you so hit my like hit my subscribe i'm out of here and by the way did you guys notice my new mickey mouse bandana disney i like it it's kind of cute anyway have a great day people vape on and also don't ever pick up another cigarette in your life vape vapors out of here